And I'm Dylan Black. You know what? Capital Pride is now in full swing, and there's lots to look forward to. We get uh, all kinds of details right now with Davey Severay, who's a uh, chairperson with Capital Pride. Hello, Davey. Hello. Nice to have you here. And Toby Whitfield as well, the festival director. Hello. It's great to be uh, here. Gosh, you must be busy right now, Toby. Oh, so, so Very busy. busy. <laughs> you guys are busy. But you know what's going really well? Yeah. It started with a, a picnic this past Sunday, correct? We had a great turnout at Hintonburg Park, full of children and families having a really lovely time. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, couldn't imagine a better way to kick off uh, the festival than, okay. than with that family picnic. And it wraps up on the 25th. Uh, can you give us a quick history lesson, uh, Davey? I, I mean, there's a lot of years been put into this. Sure. I mean, this is our 34th edition. So it all started in Strathcona Park, like a gathering of people wanting to celebrate uh, who they are in Pride. And now today we are here and uh, 34 years, years uh, 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 later and uh, bigger and better. Bigger and better every year. Okay. So lots to get to. Uh, way too many events. And I mean that respectfully. We don't have enough time. <laughs> we agree. Right? We agree. So <laughs> much. There's a lot. So Toby, 15 signature events. That's right. And you've got 65 community events. Yeah. So we organize uh, lots of events happening each, each, throughout the week. But then we've, of course, got the community events. So the, the best part about having so many events is that there's really something for everyone to enjoy this week. Whether you're a family or you're looking for a club night or you're looking for a drag show, there, there's something happening every day all across the city. Okay. Would you like to highlight one or two of the, the big ones that you're looking forward to personally? Yeah. I mean, uh, tomorrow we've got the TD Block Party down at Lansdowne. We've mm -hmm. got the Peptides performing at that. It's a huge free family event. Kicks off at 6 o'clock. Uh, we've got face painting. We've got a uh, beer garden. We've got community groups set up. Uh, we've got a drag show. So all, all kinds of fun things happening there mm -hmm. uh, and then of course Thursday we've got our, our really big pride pageant that's happening yeah, yeah so yes yeah, so that's gonna be very exciting uh, the Queen of the North uh, Brooklyn Heights is coming as well and then uh, we're gonna have five uh, Miss Capital Pride contestants hmm. three uh, MX and five Mr. Capital Pride um, and there's gonna be five judges that are gonna be judging this year okay Toby can I ask you is this signature event like the big big one though the parade is that the, the biggest uh, absolutely yeah. I mean the, the whole festival culminates with the parade uh, last year we said we had our largest parade this year we're on track for for, for an even bigger, bigger parade. We've got over 190 groups participating in the parade this year. That's community groups, small businesses, government departments, the whole gamut. Oh my gosh, okay, that, that's yeah. a lot. <laughs> it uh, is, how yeah. many people yeah. attend usually the parade? Uh, last year, uh, across the whole festival, we had over 105,000 people attend. Wow. Uh, we expect you know similar numbers. The community's really uh, on board, and the response so far from the, the first few events has been outstanding, and, and I think we're on track for, for an even bigger turnout this year. Where does the parade start now? Yeah, so it kicks off 1.30 at Bank and Gladstone, mm -hmm. and it sort of finishes at, at Bank and Somerset, kind of wraps all around our festival weekend site, which is uh, on Bank and Somerset. Okay. Um, let's talk about, uh, we're going to get to volunteers in a bit, because I know that that's super important. It's mm -hmm. one of the lifebloods of what you do, right? But, uh, Toby, let's continue to talk about the talent that is coming uh, music-wise. You mentioned, got lots. We mentioned the peptides here. So who else is going to be performing? So on Saturday, we've got a, a great drag show extravaganza event at our main stage, uh, which we've got local talent. We've got some RuPaul Drag Race superstars in for that as well. Mm. Uh, we've got uh, Aliex uh, headlining on Saturday. Uh, we've got Montreal DJ Sandy Duperval uh, here with us on Saturday as well. Sunday, we've got a, a whole great lineup. We've got some local folks. Uh, we've got Rhea May and Michelle Tracy from CTV Launch. Uh, we've got Spice Girls cover band Wannabe uh, is coming to perform with us. We've got Shawnee and Ray Spoon uh, with us too. So uh, we've got a really great lineup there. And then, of course, we've got our, our Bank Street community stage. Uh, which has got a, a whole bunch of local talent uh, as well. Fun. Uh, Davey, the, the volunteers. Yes. Um, how many volunteers? We have over 150 volunteers that every year want to come and join uh, Capital Pride for the festivities and, you know, help us make a great festival every year. Okay. Now, I know you're right in the thick of things right now, but are you yeah. still looking for volunteers, people to jump on board? Sure. Like, we're always willing to have people come and help. Yeah, because this probably is a really a 365-day-a-year venture, right? Because you're always working yeah. on this. You're always... <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We've got volunteers that, that volunteer, I mean, our board team uh, and volunteers all throughout the year uh, in team lead roles. And then we've got our festival week volunteers that, that really help all behind the scenes and putting this thing together. Okay. Uh, let's talk about some of the cool things on your website as well. So um, uh, donations are something that I noticed that you're looking for. Uh, can, you, can you tell me why donations are so important, uh, Davey? Well, because we, you know, uh, donations help us bring more talent. It helps us hire performers locally, nationally. And it really helps, uh, you know, give back to the community as well because the money that people invest in Capital Pride, we just simply give back to, you know, have more year-round year events and, uh, you know, make it bigger and better every year. All right. People should uh, donate a few bucks for Definitely. sure. Yeah. Uh, Toby, can you tell us uh, um, uh, exactly why this is so important to the community? I mean, I, I think Capital Pride and, in fact, Pride festivals across the country and around the world seek to create more inclusive communities for 2S LGBTQ2 folks, but the broader community as well. And, and 
and it's important to take time each year to, to celebrate, come together, to provide space for education advocacy, uh, and be together as a community. I mean, we, we saw incidents this weekend of, of hatred and violence at some of our community events, and, and I think what we're saying each year as we come together is, is we're here to build an inclusive society. We want to create space for everyone to be who they are. Mm, good answer, great answer. And about 20 seconds left here. Uh, Toby, can you just tell me uh, what you want people to walk away with after this event is, is all said and done? Uh, I mean, the Capital Pride is for everyone, so everyone is welcome to join, have fun, allies, members of the community, and really take away that, you know, Pride is a celebration, but also, you know, we want to make sure that moving forward, uh, we have an inclusive society. Perfect. Davey and Toby, good luck. Great. Thank you so much. More daytime coming up on Rogers TV.